tested our new mastermind series class which is going to be june 5th at 4 30 eastern this is how to grow your small account part two you do not have to watch the first one to have the second one, but I highly recommend it because it is the basis and the foundation leading into part two, which was how to grow your small account. It was $199 if you were able to buy that before the class. It's almost two hours, um, but it is a full 90 minute class with Q and A. You guys will be able to rewatch that as much as you want. If you did buy the first one, there is a discount code um, that you guys can use. I can't just blurt it out because it's uh, only if you bought the first one. So head over to our Discord, look at the channel that is for the um, replay of that video, and you guys will see the actual discount code that is listed inside of there. You can find it in our store if you go to AmericanDreamTrading.com. sign up for any of the services of course website is always here two hundred dollars for our regular membership gets you immediately into zoom you can see every trade i make you'll get hot stock picks the videos on demand the ipo center and the pre-market setup all with the regular two hundred dollar membership when you're ready to step it up though i highly recommend the vip membership you'll be able to start trading early at 4 a.m you'll get to trade with some of our other millionaires inside of that room you guys will get a uh, master class training with me every day at 8 15. you'll get the vip lounge all of those hot stock picks uh, pre-market setup you're going to get the ipo center the videos on demand all of the workshop classes for free and we put one of those on every single month You'll get uh, all the VIP training videos, the trading view indicators. These were designed specifically based on my two minute EWO, which by the way, no trader in the world has ever used what we are doing with the Elliott Wave Oscillator. And we have a lot of people finding success, obviously with this. You'll also get VIP seating at the meetups. If you are a VIP member and you want more training, VIP Gold, you can add that on for an additional $2,500 a year. Right now, as one of the specials that I have, this could go away, but right now, if you sign up for the VIP Gold, you will also get a free one-on-one -on -one with a moderator. That is a $500 value just for that. You'll get all the Mastermind classes. You get every Mastermind class for free during your subscription. You'll get one hour of tech support if you need it so we can remote in we can help you set up those charts anything specific right that will get you going we can help you with that you're also going to get for the first time ever weekend training we've been doing it every saturday at 11 a.m eastern um, and because it's the weekend it is literally like a one-on-one -on -one. you'll also get our new service showing us everything right that's going on in the market and breakout rooms so anytime we do a breakout room, that's only for VIP gold members. You guys will be able to access that. Use your affiliate account. You guys will also get a piece of everything. So you have family members, neighbors, people in your church, people that you guys want to help out. You can give them your link and that will uh, also give you a kickback immediately. It's immediate. As soon as they pay for it, you guys will get money. You'll see it into your uh, monies that you can just withdraw. Send them to AmericanDreamTrading.com. American Dream Trading, okay? Because we train and we train hard. So that when it's time to actually trade, you have now stumbled into AmericanDreamTrading.com where we trade shares and options. I will show you about swing trading, long term trading, dividend stocks, high yield income stocks, covered calls, cash career puts, diagonal, and credit spreads, debit spreads. I will teach you everything there is to know about the entire market. Welcome, welcome, welcome to American Dream Trading's The Aftermarket Live Chat and Watch Party. I'm your host, JJ Video Reacts. And this has been a stream that's been created by traders for traders to basically just kick back, relax, and talk about our day trading in the stock market. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, American Dream Trading was started by Chad W. Christian in 2022. And he first went live in August of 2022. Or was it 2021? I think it might have been 2021. And he went live August of 2022. 
So um, he's a 30 year stock market vet and he teaches us basically how to get in trades, out of trades and everything in between. We are not trained to be call out chasers over here. We are trained to be stock market traders, actual stock market traders that can go into the market, find a runner and make some money off of it. And more importantly, save our money, protect our money. It's not just about making money. It's about the process and what you have to go through mentally to prepare to trade. If your mind's not right, you're not gonna trade right. I don't care what's going on. So you always gotta get your mental mechanics down just as well as your physical mechanics. It's, it's good that you know where to click a button and where the buy and sell button is. But if your mind is not right and you don't know when to buy and sell, it doesn't matter that you can click the button. It matters that you know what you're doing. So thank you, coach. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for training us properly and for focusing on your training. You know what I mean? He could be off somewhere in the Bahamas trading on the beach, saying the hell with that. You know what I mean? I've made my money. I'm out. He doesn't do that. He comes in. He talks to us every day. Even days he takes off, he still comes in and talks to us. So shout out to you, coach. Thank you for letting us use your platform to decompress after a stressful day of trading because trading stressful. Trading can be extremely stressful. So if you have not traded or if you've never traded before and you're looking for a place to learn how to trade, you've come to the right place. If you've ever been curious, we have the best coach in the world. And I can say that simply because he is. He has created over 10 millionaires and retired at least 80 people that, that we know of. There's for every 10 you hear about, there's at least 50 that you don't. So you do the math. 10 millionaires every other day somebody's retiring off of his teachings and strategy come on now i think it's working all right so me personally i have been able to stay at home and be able to work right from home because of the teaching that coach has given me you know yesterday i made 130 dollars in 20 minutes i'm like come on this is crazy there's people who bust their ass all day to try to make that kind of money you know what i mean and that's on the small end all right. There are people in our group who take home thousands on a daily. So if you want to be trained right, this is the place to come. Now, the cool thing is you can go to americandreamtrading.com. And that link has been pinned right to the top of this live chat. All right. If you go right to the top of the live chat, it says click here to join americandreamtrading.com. Click that uh, link and that will take you right to our website where you can pick up one of three one of four memberships you can pick up a premium membership or you can pick up a vip a vip gold or you can get the vip complete and the cool thing about that is if you do it now and use promo code spring 500 right at spring 500 you will get 500 dollars off the first year of any of those vip memberships and they include everything that was just played in that video hot stock picks trading view indicators morning masterclass sessions with coach you know if you're getting the gold and the complete then you've got mastermind classes weekend training an hour of priority tech support news you name it so that is where you have to go to go ahead and make that happen. The second link that's located in the live stream and in the replay is um, for right now, is click here to join the panel, all right? I'm not a, supposed to be up here by myself. I got people that can come up here and talk and just tell us about your day. Let us know, we can pull up the trading view indicators. Look, if you had a problem trading today, we will pull up the trading view indicators and we will see what happened. We will figure out where you went wrong and what we can do to help you improve it. Um, if you did something right, there's new people in the chat all the time that would love to hear about it. Tell us what you did, you know? Which one of coach's strategies did you use that got you paid, okay? And we will go over it. And the third tip is my tip jar. Uh, it's host tip jar and if it helps me pay the bills. That is part of my income. So if you feel like I'm doing a good job up here, go ahead and throw a tip in the tip jar. It is much, much appreciated. Um, Mark McSee is not with us today because he had a honeydew list. His wife has him on lockdown today. She's like, nope, you are staying here and we are, ta we are taking care of home projects today, friend. So <laughs> shout out to Mark McSee, wherever he is. Hopefully he's not uh, throwing the back out or anything like that. Let's see who we got down in the chat. 
everybody's still probably over on the Zoom call. We've got Ange. What's up, Ange? First one in. We got Leslie. Hey, Leslie. How you doing, darling? Miguel. Hey, Miguel. How you doing? DJ Vinny. What's up, honey? DJ Vinny kills it on uh, Burlington Co. Factory and J.P. Morgan. Taiwan Semiconductor. You name it. And we've got Jay Waffle. Hey, Jay Waffle, what's going on? Carlos Garrido, what's going on? What's up, Matthew Craig? How are you? James L., what's going on? How are you, buddy? All right, how about that spa today, huh? Listen. That's why I put that thumbnail up there. Spy was crazy today. Let's go. Oh. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I couldn't get to the music. All right. This thing is absolutely bonkers, man. Who can trade this? I mean, even if you're a master scalper, this is absolutely crazy. This is absolutely nuts. Okay, so first off, right off the bell, everybody <laughs> thought Spy was going to be down today. But everybody tried not to have a bias, right? Hello? You're on the panel. Did you want to say something? Yeah, it's weird. I got, um, let me knock that out. All right. I had somebody, I had somebody on the panel that didn't have their camera on it. It's just got a bunch of letters up there on the name. Um, I think we got a taker. Who is that? DJ Vinny, what's going on, brother? I figure if I wave at you, you'll see who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like my trademark to you. I do that every time. See, I know you had trouble seeing it. So. Oh, I appreciate you, Vinny. We're looking out for you, girl. What's you know, up? Man, girl. Yeah. So where what's are up? you? Are you in California? Like, where are you? I'm in South Carolina. Oh wow! Yeah, you're you're in uh, Nate's neck of the woods. Yeah, we moved down here in 2018. Okay, okay. Yep. Yep. I've been uh, I've been in Ocean City since 2009. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, we are beach bombs, baby. We're beach bombs. <laughs> <laughs> we pride ourselves on it. Hell yeah! I, I was just looking at this uh, this crazy spy chart, dude. Well, uh, I'm ashamed to say it. I lost a little bit today. Did you? It happens. Yeah, when they yeah. took my money the first time, I said, that's it. I'm done with you for the day. I'm not losing anymore. I said I said to myself, we'll come back when they yeah. start speaking. So, well, Benny, look at this thing now. I mean, uh -huh. it's, it's crazy. It's all over the place. And so many different times it changed the resonance. Exactly. And it's like, even if you had lines, it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Those lines don't mean anything. Yeah, I got to figure out how to clear my lines off and start over again on spot. <laughs> yeah, trading view indicators? No, I'm going to uh, Weeble. Okay. 
But yeah, because yeah, it, it took ninety dollars from me this morning, and then I lost probably about three hundred in that second, right around that second dip, and then I came back at one o'clock, came back at one o'clock, hit it for a quick, for a quick in and out, and uh, I still was down for the day, but not like I could have been. Yeah. Like I was saying earlier, I don't know if you picked up on it. I said, I'm not going to do what I used to do. I heard you. I heard the old you. would have stayed in there and slugged it out with a spy, and I, the spy would have kicked my ass. Yep, I got That's you. It. I ain't having it. I ain't having it. <laughs> <laughs> Went out back, sat out on the porch, enjoyed some sunshine. Mm-hmm. I made, uh, I made $75 off of Apple today. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I couldn't mess with Spy. I did a, I did an Apple for a quick 80 bucks. Nice. Um, I started to get into Burlington Coast Factory, but I was like, I'm, I'm going to, I was saving my powder. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I yep. knew I had to come back to Spy one more time. <laughs> so I, I, I kind of saved it. <laughs> I was attempting to save it, Vinny, but then Apple started going down again. Which, you know, it was too late because by then it had already started this. So it was like, yeah, yeah. no, you didn't get in on this. You can forget it because I'm going to channel the rest of the day. But I got I got a lot of this. So, And I was out of the money. That's why the only reason I made 75 because I was in. Um, well, actually, I was like two out of the money. I, it, like it was one and then the next one down for like 50 something. Right. So, or maybe I got the 37. I don't remember. I got to look it up. But, you know, and I, I think I had like one contract, you know what I mean? Just to be in it because right. I got in up here. So, and that yielded me like 75 bucks. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll take that. That was a bounce off of the double bottom down there, wasn't it? Or close yeah. to a double bottom. Yeah, that's all yep. right. And the reason I did that was because I said, like I said to David earlier, I have got to train myself. And this is something coach has taught me everything he can teach me. This is something I got to train myself on. I've got to get out of losing trades. I've got to learn how to take the freaking green. And sometimes that requires just getting one contract so that you're forced to have to get out and walk away, especially if it's losing. You know what right. I mean? Right. And so that's why I did that. I could have gotten more than one contract, but I'm like, nope, you watch it. You pay attention to the trade. Don't pay attention to your P&L. And when it starts going against you, get out. You, I've got to learn the behavior of getting out of a trade when it's when it's no longer going my way. It, it's funny you were talking about both of them, JP Morgan and the Burlington Coke Factory. They're yeah. both almost the same exact place. They're $12 or 12 cent different. Really? They're both, yeah, they're both at the 180. <laughs> you know what? I wonder what J and J did. Cause didn't they have earnings tonight? Yeah, they were cho a choppy mess too. Look at that crap. I'm glad I yeah. shot a mess with that. Yeah, I ripped the band-aid off of that one. You got in that one? <laughs> I, I started to get in it and then I did there was something in the charts there that I didn't like it. And I was like, now I'm, I'm getting out. I'm getting the hell out right now. So well, I lost Jackson Morgan had a nice drop. Yeah. So I had like a nine dollar loss there on J and J. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? When it's not your day, it's not your day, Benny. You know what I mean? Right. And we all have them. And right. today was just de destined to be a red because yeah. you've had so many green days. You've been doing yeah. real well. Yeah, that was uh, I think nine days, nine days green, one day red. I'll take nice. that. That's awesome, man. Okay. That yep. is awesome. So I got other plays that I mapped out for tomorrow. Now, these are ones that I came up with Sunday. Because, as you know, spy, I don't do spy on Wednesday. Those are the chop right. chop. Right. But, uh, yeah, I got, I'm, I'm going to do the JB Hunt and the CXS tomorrow. Too much See? Choo choo trains and trucks. Oh, CSX. I used to always see those um, cargo trains in Baltimore. Yep. Yep. Okay. I've never heard anybody playing that one. 
You got to stay diversified. can stay hooked on one medicine. Look at you, you know? <laughs> That's just like somebody switching up and doing Carnival Cruise Lines or American Airlines. Then he's doing the trains, semiconductors. I give you that. You are definitely I, diversified. I take what the market gives you. You know, th right. Thursday is going to be a blast. And I, I hope to God it works the way I have it written down. I hope to God it works. Well, not hope, but. No hopium, Vinny. Right. But what are you hoping happens, though? <laughs> well. <laughs> For JB Hunt, as large as they are, they're they're kind of rocky, and it's been rocky ever since the um, demise of Yellow Freight. Yeah. So, uh, I know they picked up some of their contracts from Yellow when they had all their shit going on, but I don't know. It's it's kind of iffy, but I'm going to play what it gives me after the earnings. Okay. So, I'll jump on it that way. And uh, my little baby comes up on Thursday. That's the TSM. TSM. So, and what else is Thursday? Houses. Houses? <laughs> houses. D.R. Horton. Okay. Okay. I, I own one. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So they're, they're always doing good and they, they got a lot of stuff down here that they've been building up towards uh, Myrtle Beach. They got really? places exploding out the yin yang. And I'm, I drive around these places, Don, and I'm like, where in the hell are these people going to work at? Or is that the baby boomers retiring finally? Maybe. I, I, don't know, I don't know of any jobs that would pay enough to support that. You know what I mean? Plus the interest rate and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I heard uh, Mark McSee's moving down in one of them to be closer to Nate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell him we got 22 of them going, going in across the street here. We got 22 yep. rooms going in. Wow. And that's a breaking ground for him. Yep. You never know. Nate might come down there and buy, buy a lot. <laughs> so, right. Well, we got plenty of lots for sale. There's plenty of lots for sale. My wife always looking at them. She was like, honey, look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> yeah, we found a real nice five acre, five acre here. And where we sit at, we're a mile to the beach and two and a half miles to the river. So we're oh, like wow. kind of right in the middle between the two. And it was an old uh, fishing resort. That's what That's Paulie's Island was. Basically, yeah. Ocean City. That's the same. <laughs> but That's this the same is thing. way smaller than Ocean City. <laughs> yeah. Way smaller. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, 17 cutting through uh, Paulie's, I think it's two miles, two and a half miles long. That's it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Shoot, that's yeah. about the length of uh, the key bridge that went down. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. That sounds cozy. It is. Yeah, we found, we came down and looked at Surfside in January of 2000. Uh, 17 and then we came down in july and i was like oh hell no this is like ocean city congestion city and the guy said let's take you down here to paulie's and we come down to paulie's man that that was it it's like living in the country but you're at the beach because we have so many so many woods and stuff you know because in the 50s this was all woods all the way up yeah. to the beach yeah all the way up to the beach in 56. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice little place. It's a little hidden gem on the beach. That's awesome. That sounds yeah. like somewhere I wouldn't mind living. But I'm, that's it's so hard to beat where I'm at because I just walk two blocks that way and I'm at I'm at the beach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, we got that's Walmart that's probably twelve or fifteen miles from us in either direction, either in Georgetown or. Uh, to below Myrtle Beach. Yeah, that's how we are. We got the bay over this side, Asa Woman Bay. Two yeah. blocks that way is the bay, two blocks that way is the beach. I mean, literally, we are on that strip of land in between <laughs> the two. If you look at it on the map, it just looks like this. <laughs> yeah, we, we looked at a house one time down there. It was $175 or 175000 at the time when we looked at it. But the HOAs and the insurance, oh, hell no. 
it ain't bad enough it went up here but it's still it's still manageable we're not in a flood zone per se right. but category five everybody's in a flood zone 200 miles from land <laughs> That's the one thing too about being down here. Salt water rusts the hell out of your car. You know what I mean? Well, you want to see what it did to my grill. My grill had a side smoker. It's probably a year and three months old and it's under a heavy tarp. And I pulled it up the other day when I was weed whacking and yeah. the actual firebox lid is starting to rust on the surface. And it's, it's pretty thick steel. And the second one I bought was an electric one. My wife said, are you keeping that in the house? I said, yeah, that's staying right in the garage because I don't want none of that salt air getting to them electric components. No. Yep. I'll pay, I'll pay good money for that one. Yeah, that's smart because uh, thank God we got a car in 2020 because if that was an older, I mean, we did have an older car when we first moved in this unit, but yeah. we ended up having to get out of that because the rust on the bottom was so bad we had a guy looking at it yeah. because he was changing our alternate he's like you know you guys you're literally it's bad like you're about to fall out of the bottom of this thing hey. you, know, <laughs> you couldn't tell you know what i mean from just looking at it so yeah uh when they when they, we started getting the letters and hey you've been approved for you know, financing and well, let's go take a look at it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and we've had it now for three years and well, shit, going on four now. So, yeah, next year or a year after, we'll be pay done paying for it. So, mm -hmm. and she's taking care of us, you know. So, but, um, yeah, it's a man. Job. it gets it's us from A to B, right? That's right. It's cute. Oh man, let's see, man. Let's see if Carter's got a video up here for us today. We got nobody that wants to come up here. What's up? Other than me and Vinny, y'all just gonna let us talk you guys today. Pop, pop, chicken, chicken. <laughs> Don't be chicken. Come on. Yeah. Pebbles, what's going on, Pebbles? Hey, Miranda, how you doing, baby girl? Any questions, comments, concerns? Right. TJ. TJ says, Dawn, that exit on Apple was good. Yeah. He said the gamma would have beat you up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You wouldn't have made much more. I know, TJ. I was looking at it. It looked like it channeled out the rest of the day. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that was... I was afraid I was, see, FOMO kicked in, you know, but you know what, even if I had tried to get in Spy Vinny, look what happened, dude. It never picked a clear direction today. So, Do you no. think we could get a nice V in it or a nice side down V in it? This thing was just all over the place. Yeah. yeah. I think Spy was having a panic attack. <laughs> That's what was going on there. Spy was having a panic attack. <laughs> it was one of those days, man. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> it's just one of those days. <laughs> he said the game would have beat you up. The gamma would have beat you up. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So, and I'm not up for that, you know? Right now, the name of the game is making money, not losing it. Right. Mastering pre-market charting. Part two. Oh, okay. We did part one yesterday. Let's check that out real quick. Shout out to Carter, who does all the full-time videos. I was running a little bit behind because I was editing another video that I want to drop on Coach's social media. Uh, let's see here. Let's pull it up. All right, so this is Mastering Pre-Market Charting, part two. Shout out to Cardo. Hell yeah, Meta, 336.27 up, 335.27 down. 485.75 NVIDIA up, 4... 
83 down. Um, Mara. 400 on that video. <laughs> Mara, let's see. 1704 up. 1638 down. I know this is a big range. That's because we had a lot of movement. Soxel, the new one today. Soxel, right here. 28. 75, which is around the 78, 2875 up, 2839 down. Microsoft. Microsoft, 37577 up, 37413 down. Uh, the Qs, the Qs I want to see above 406 or below. Yeah, we're just gonna go here. Oh, we're below 405. Last one. How many stock market trading mentors do you know that take the time every morning to do something like this with you and for you? Just to get you set up for the market. There's nobody that does that. Nobody. Nobody you know? at all. Shout out to Coach, man. He is the best. He makes sure we hit the bell, hit the ground running as soon as the bell clicks. AMD, don't forget, digital thank you cards are available. There you go. You guys are awesome. <laughs> AMD, 193.28 up, 138.18 down. That's all of them. With Soxel and uh, the Qs being attached to other stocks, how does that pre-market uh, spread play? How do you read that? Okay, I don't mind saying that just freaked me the hell out. <laughs> read a message from you and all of a sudden you're talking i'm like how the hell because you know tj's a hacker man come on tj you know you know some behind the scenes stuff now if you really wanted to act, I'm like, if you wanted to get in here he could right. <laughs> just using how much it moves typically in a day if you look at it right you can see yesterday obviously was a monster day at a dollar but typically soxel is only running luckily like, he's for the good side though like 40 cents right yeah so if you look at if you look at the range that we've got in here i mean 2877 to 2840 that's that's almost right on the money right yeah, but because it's attached to the, you know, the chip stock. Matter. Yeah, that don't matter. Yep. Okay. All yep, right. That don't Thank matter you. at all. Yep. Just remember, it, it runs when they do, right? It's it's just like the S and P. It yeah. runs on the Power Seven. This does the same exact thing. Well, you've never traded IWM, have you? Uh, which one? IWM Russell Two Thousand. Uh-uh. IWM? Yeah. I, I'm content I wrote this down on my on my journal. <laughs> I said next one on the dance floor. <laughs> because <laughs> because I think I'm a I'm a substitute dance with uh IWM over spy for Wednesday. <laughs> what is IWM? So I might take her out on the floor and give her a whirl. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's the S P. S and P two thousand. I never heard of that. Yeah, I've made money on this thing six times before. Really? Yeah, when I when sport spy don't want to act right, I put IWM for a whirl. Like wow. today, it had a three dollar move today too. I mean, it it moves pretty good, and the options are cheap for your small okay. accounts. Yes. Okay. Nice. It's cheap like spy. Never yeah, cheaper. They're cheaper than spy. Okay, yeah, I might want to. What is the name? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to write that down, huh? IWM, <laughs> like, I, like I, I, India, yeah. whiskey, Mary. Yes. India, whiskey. Michael. Mary. Michael, Mary. For you, Michael. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty good in a day. So that's, that's all your S&P, uh, I mean, uh, your Russell 2000 stuff. Have you, um, have you tried following any of those ones that Ted have called out yet? BRT or MU or any of them? I don't stay stuck on tech. I diversify. I do everything. 
I play the season as it comes. Like this week was all banks. Yeah. <laughs> Make money on uh, JP, MTV. 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 No, MTB. Oh. M and T Bank, you have one up there. M and T Bank, okay. Yeah, you have one up there. Yeah, made money on that one. Yep. Yeah. So I just roll with the roll with the season. Yeah, roll today, with today, the nobody, season. today nobody talked about it, but I believe the housing numbers were supposed to come out. The supply numbers were supposed to come out today. Really? Yeah, I, I read that somewhere. That's why I put DHI on my list. That and they have earnings too. M T. There she is. Yep. See that long drop right there to open? Yeah. To open. Yep. Right here. That's my paid it. Woo. Nose were cheap. Man, I gotta start following you. Into yes, something. you gotta start being diversified, sweetheart. <laughs> you can't just stick to them techies. Techies have ruined your life. Make you want to go out and slap the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, Jen will have a heart attack if I slap that cat. She is so. Oh, that is her baby. Yes, yeah, somebody put in the comments Russell 2000 for small cat stocks. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's pretty awesome. See, that yeah, way you get a basket of everything. You know what I mean? I get you. You know, I think what is for me is I'm trying so hard to narrow down the white noise. So sure. that's why I'm trying to narrow in on just a couple of spots. And I've just been doing Apple and Spy here of late. And yeah. it's just, a, you know, so I'm not all over the place. And then, like David, I master them because I watch Nate do that. He, in the yeah. morning, he mastered his technique. It don't matter the stock, it's the technique. And he mastered his technique. So now he took that technique and went over to options, not knowing a damn thing, just took the basics, right. the L2 readings, and he's killing it. So right. I'm like, you know, that's what I'm trying to do, simplify it. Now, now Ford, have, have you looked at Ford at all? You know what, Vinny? I played Ford right after that time that Mark McSee called it out. And it was doing really well. And um, and it was doing really well. And then I haven't looked at it since because it's, you know, it's like watching paint dry. It, is, it, it, is, a, it is the ATM if you play it right. That thing is okay. a cash cow if you play it right. And the options are dirt, dirt cheap. <laughs> yeah, because the first day I made like 100 bucks on it. And then it just kind of got choppy. But if you, yeah, I see what you mean now. Yeah, I got a $130 or $133 out of there yesterday. Did you? Yeah. And I think it was $20, $25. I think it was total this man. Nate said he used to scalp it all the time. Government cheese, what's up? Government cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Did he come in here by accident? <laughs> Did you click the button by accident? Yeah, his name's in there. I know. <laughs> God, my <geez. laughs> oh, oh, government cheese. Government oh. cheese. I see you. What, what is um Burlington Co Factory's um ticker, Vinny? It is E U R L you went in the matrix, buddy. B. Me? Yeah. B. It's B. 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 U. R. L. B. B. R. L. B. U. R. L. Bravo. Uniform. Romeo Lima. Yeah. A lot. What letter I was on? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Milton Burrow, remember Burrow? Oh, that's L E. Yeah, U R L. Now listen to me. I want you to do a one month chart. Hit the one month on. Just Future. so the just so the viewers can see, right? 
Some future trader. One month, right? Yeah, do the one month, uh, the one hour chart. Yeah. That's how oh, I'm going to get it. That's how what? I'm going to get paid. <laughs> you got to take the thing out of the center of the screen, though. You got square or something in the middle of it. Yep. And you said do the one month? One month at the one hour mark. Okay, Dan, one hour. What the hell? All right, I got one month here. Oh, where'd it go? Make straight up now. What happened? I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's the one month. Yeah, see so you at the top of that hump there. Yep. And that's five, six, seven, eight. It's like twelve days worth of nothing but here's my money. here's my money. Here's my money. Here's my money. And you know when I got into it? Here's my money. Don't laugh at me. You know when I got into One it? Silver bar. When? When the brown line crossed the purple. That was April the second. Wow, when the brown line crossed the purple. That's it. And the rest of them follow. Oh, I knew I was golden after that. Well, you talking about the nine? Yep. Or they called it the five this afternoon. I don't know if it's the five or nine. It's but once nine. the other two, look, Don, once the other two come across that purple line that I told you yep. earlier today, yep. once it crossed over that, it's a six star trade, and I've been riding it all the way to the bottom. Nice. And look, look how many days that is. And the options were cheap, Dawn. Wow. You could have bought yourself a new car by now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, yeah. <Come>, baby. <laughs> Look at Burlington. The funny thing is, I used to actually shop at this store. Oh, yeah? And I've been to the original Burlington because it's based out of Burlington, like New Jersey. So oh, I've been okay. to the original Burlington Co. Factory, and then I've been to the one in Hunt Valley, Maryland, across from where I used to work at. Yeah, Hunt Valley is a rich area. Mm hmm. Used to be, anyway. That's when they had all the horse farms and everything up there. Now, take a look at JP Morgan. Yeah. Future Trader, what's happening, baby? How are you? Look at JP. What day was their earnings? So I think that was the tenth. Are week. you on mute, Future Trader? That is Future Trader, right? Am I calling him the wrong name? Let's see. Oh, unless he's on the side screen. I can't see it. <laughs> hey, Pebbles. Hi, how are you, Don? How are you? I'm just good. I uh, I didn't uh, trade very good today. I tried trading uh, options and hi. Is that your first time? This is my first. This is my first time here. Yes. Yep, over here. And is that your first time trading options? Uh, I've been here. I've been, uh, no, it isn't. Um, I, I did it one time and I made a hundred dollars real, real money and I bought myself a silver bar. A silver, bar. silver bullet? Bar. Silver. Okay. That's awesome. 
so you tried it again today. How'd you do? It's a, it's a silver bar. And uh, every time I make $100, I'm going to buy another one. Nice. That is awesome. Because we all know where silver's going. Yeah, Ralph's always talking about precious metals. Yeah, man. Wow, so every time he makes that money, he gets himself a silver bar. What do you keep it in your closet? <laughs> keep well, it under the right. bed? It's on my desk. So you can look at it. You ought to get your name engraved in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's awesome, Pebbles. That's a good way to make sure that you're not putting it, giving it back to the market. It'd be pretty hard to give it back if it's in silver. I've given enough stuff to the market. <laughs> yeah. You and me both, buddy. I don't blame you. I'm of the same mindset. No more of that. I don't mind if it takes some once in a while, but it's taken way too much already. It's my turn to take. I was in a poker tournament one time and this lady threw a quarter down. It bounced on the table by the time by the time it finished wrestling, the first bounce, I grabbed it. She said, What are you doing with my quarter? I said, I'll replace it. So at the end of the hand, she said, Why did you grab that like that? I said, because that was silver. <laughs> she said that was a silver quarter. And I was like, Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah I got a soap dish full of them that I wanted poker games. <laughs> really? Man, when I could see much better, I used to love some online poker, dude. Oh, yeah. Jen Texas told me how to play. Yeah, Texas hold them. I got a couple of um, tournaments for money, won a few of them. And that's pretty wild considering I was brand new to it. But I just, for some reason, I got it and I understood it and I internalized it. Right. And um, I just I went nuts and yeah, I won, won a few tournaments, you know, after only knowing how to play for a couple months, you know, and I, um, yeah. I had at the full moon up there in uh, Lacerstown, Carroll County area, they used to have a, a league in there. Then you should sign up. You should sign up. I said, all right, this is no shit now. They played with two decks. So interchanging the decks you know that keeps people from counting cards blah 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 keep them honest right Sean, i was inside the deck <laughs> like in the matrix i was inside both decks and it got to the point people were so mad because i'd leave them down and go ahead go ahead you're not going to look at it no nope. go ahead and they bet, <laughs> bet, bet and all i did was flip it over bam and won and i did that like 17 times at night and people wow. are looking at me, cards. i'm like i'm in these decks every time they shuffled they would even shuffle even longer or blah 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 and i just kept hitting it hitting it and hitting it <laughs> okay so talk to us like we're four years old describe what you mean by you were in the deck i couldn't lose <laughs> when you know you're in the deck when you start winning consistent 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 right and it got to the point where you guys I didn't even have, having to look at your cards down there but i have to look right i looked at the cards that were on the table right that were turned up we're playing i think it's four of us per deck right and i'm like nope not gonna look and just did that consistently seven times and wrote <laughs> what to play though uh huh how would you have known what to play if you didn't know what I you I just had? let them bet. I just let them bet. Whatever they wow. wanted to bet, I bet it. I was in those decks. Wow. Everybody was saying the same thing. They're like, this guy isn't going to lose. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I said, look, I'll do one. I'll do psyched one. Out. My last hand, I said, I'm going to do one better. So I turned around like this. I didn't even look at the table. <laughs> And he said, Are you ready? And I said, Yeah, because I had my cards like this and I flipped them over. And all I heard was somebody say, Son of a bitch. And I turned around. And I was like, Oh, shit, I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So people buying me beer, giving me cigars, all kind of crazy shit. Wow. 
that was definitely one to be there for i tell you that that's probably the first and probably the last i used to do travel at least where people would go from people's houses different shit like that yeah we used to play some house games it was good times wow that's awesome Vinny. yeah that's the type of thing that needs to be on tv right yeah. there yeah yeah, it's like that movie. What was that movie, Casino, where he was teaching them how to count the cards or whatever? Six um, it was Twenty One. I own that movie. I love that movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kevin Spacey was unfreaking believable in that movie, and that kid, whoever played that main kid, he <laughs> was crazy. I love yep. it. He was a mathematical genius. <laughs> he had that thing down. Yeah. Those kids blew up, didn't they? Oh, <laughs> I like yeah. at the end of the movie where they they get his ass handled and then they go <laughs> back and start doing taking advantage of what they learned, you know what I mean? And he began right. to rule the gang at that point. That was crazy. We had a we had a horse one time that was running in uh Tampa Downs and I was down there seeing my buddy. And he goes, Holy shit, man, they got a horse in here for you. I said, What's the name of it? He said, my cousin Vinny. And I was like, son of a bitch, I'm playing. He said, you're going to look at the odds? I said, fuck no. Hell no, I ain't going to look at the odds. Right? So I went to the thing and I played one place and show. Bam. <laughs> Dude, I bet horse races when I was a little kid. My grandmom took me to Pimlico all the time. Yep, mine did too. Um, yep, yep, I loved it. I would pick winners. I don't know how I knew. I would just go off the colors that I liked. Yeah. And they would win, you know? I remember winning off a horse named Affirmed. Remember Affirmed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spectacular bid. I remember betting oh, yeah. on that one. Yep. Yeah. And the Alfano jockey, he was a good jockey. My dad used to tell me this, and the, the more I watched for it, the more he was right. I don't know if I should be saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. You know when they walk them around in circles before they put them in the gate? To cool them off? Yeah. First horse that shits wins. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Then, look, and that's so true in a dog. Watch a dog one time when he takes a dump. Mm -hmm. He'll haul ass. <laughs> <laughs> we, were sitting, we were sitting at Stark Live one time a couple ago. I'll never forget it. That says, you gotta hurry up, run inside. But that's the number so and so horse. I said, Why? They just took a shit. So I said, All right, I go in, they come back out. And they were just just getting ready to take off. He said, Watch the way the horse leaves the gate. Man, that sucker took off like lightning. <laughs> but it was hilarious. So my dad's like, He's gonna run like fire. <laughs> Ted, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? We talk about uh, Pimlico days. Pimlico, oh wow! Yeah, horse, horse, horse track. Hi ho, Pimlico! Yeah, I remember going as a little kid. I got a horse right here. His name is Paul Revere. The guy says if the weather's clear, can do. Can do. How'd you do today, man? Can do. I did. I did well. My Nvidia trade was. Uh, oh, it was great because I I played it down and I played it back up again. So yeah, five K on the day. Not okay, a bad day. not a bad day at all. And and uh, really clear of conscious because I'm practically all cash, so I'm, I don't hold anything overnight. This market's been crazy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna yep. let the swings kill me here. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. you it, know? it took me uh, probably five days too long to figure it out, but I, uh, I'm uh, I'm well equipped for what the market's going to give me on any given day now. That's awesome. You took on the Nate strategy, huh? The yeah, I'm, I'm just there's time to be bullish, right? You can look out over the three month horizon as coach advises. But who knows what the three months are going to give us, right? We we are living in uncertain times. The uh, yeah. the index which we cannot refer to, 
<laughs> is definitely yeah. showing that there's some fear in the in the market and we should be mindful of that the index um, that shall not be named and it's interesting because where there's fear there's opportunity right we've got to look for those opportunities um, it looks like smci just raced up today based on you know just the cycle of of fear and bullishness and and finally i think the bulls won out up 11 percent if you count the aftermarket and uh, oh wow bucket caught that i was too busy in my nvidia trade um so yeah we just have to look for these opportunities that come up well you're always quoting warren buffett and he said you know when everybody's afraid that's when you buy huh because they're it. dumping it and right and I, was thinking, I was thinking about that but that doesn't mean that you do it full-heartedly right right Danny <laughs> you can't be know. like you can't be like leroy jenkins <laughs> <laughs> Everybody dump it, yeah, dump it right over here. Okay. Do you well, know that that reference? I don't. What Leroy is that, Jenkins. From a movie? Yeah, it's the thing that my kids would always say, and it's basically it, it it's a meme of sorts, and basically it's this guy was like the group was like in a video game together. And they're like, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to strategically go after this and, and we're going to wait for this. And, and they're talking about ex exactly how they're going to do it, the, the play, right? <laughs> Which is going to attack these monsters. And all of a sudden, this one guy runs off and goes, Leroy Jenkins. Just <laughs> <laughs> Threw strategy out the window. And that's TJ, are you, you know what I'm talking about? TJ, I was, it's so funny to see him put a I'm comment. I'm glad I got the name out. right. <laughs> TJ, All right, goes, he's the Ted, I'm going to quiz you. Ted, I'm going to give you a quiz. Newsweek's most trustworthy companies in America. Who do you think's on the list? Most trustworthy company in America. Uh, Got to be Apple. No. Well, is Apple on the list? no, is, uh, are, are, are you talking like Dow companies? I'll give you a clue. It starts with a T. Taiwan Semiconductor. Taiwan Semiconductor. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not a tech, it's not a tech company. Uh, Target. It's a household goods company. Household goods company? I like Target. That Target's a good Something you use in your house. Um, toilet paper. Tupperware. Tupperware. Oh. <laughs> it was in, what is it was going in on? Tupperware. Look, I was looking at Weevil, and they had a that little news icon next to Tupperware, and I clicked on it, and that's what it said. Do you know that these things are paid for? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's so funny you said that because oh, I used to work for a company that the guy put us down with the fact that BBB memberships are paid for. You, can, I used to work for them. You can, you pay for that A plus rating. That's not just something yeah. that you get. Yeah, you know. So it's usually done. If you if you look at those magazines, it's and who knows what it is now. But uh, if you look at those magazines, they used to be just be filled with ads from those companies that coincidentally were on the list. Yeah. Um, 2023 Tupperware. Where's Tupperware on the list? Okay, so I'm looking up Newsweek, and this one actually oh, makes. Oh, a little bit. I saw it on Weibo. I'm not saying it's true, but it it was on Weibo. Um, and what magazine were they saying? Forbes. Newsweek. Companies will report previous years. <laughs> well, so, wow, Tupperware popped up on Newsweek's most trustworthy companies in America two hours ago. Okay. Let's yeah. see. I just had to do that take because I know you love Tupperware. Okay. Oh, shit. It, it pops four cents on that news. <laughs> I see 2023 up there. Number 13 in consumer goods. So, so, 
So here's how they. <laughs> this is so good, <laughs> right? good. You know where I'm going with this. Go ahead. <laughs> so it's most trustworthy companies 2023, but you have different categories. You've yeah. got appliances. You've got banks. Yeah, I just read the business so. professional services. You've got conglomerate. You've got construction. You have consumer goods. Yeah. And that falls under consumer goods, right? And appliances at, and electronics. And looking at the consumer goods, uh, <coughs> I don't see Tupperware on the list. Yeah, that line underneath the Regal charts and the EWO where you get your news and stuff, it says, wow, Tupperware popped up on Newsweek's most trustworthy companies in America. So I'm looking at Newsweek right now, right now, and it's consumer oh, goods. You don't right? see anything, and I do not see Tupperware on the list. So that could oh, be. Fine. So everybody down in the chat that's listening, I'm looking at the same list, and I'm looking at appliances and electronics. Who do you think that they have ranked as number one GE. for appliances and electronics? Nope. Samsung. Well, let me guess, Samsung. You guys can't answer. You're looking at the damn oh. list. I'm looking at you. Not that everybody ran their chance. You know what? This is actually really informative. Thanks for pointing it out, DJ, because if yeah. you think about it, sometimes when you're doing research on companies, yeah. Um, yeah. It's you know, good to know it's, this it's, stuff. it's that affinity that draws us to invest. Right. And we pay people for this shit. Yeah. False news. Legrand. Yeah, exactly. That's so funny that it's not even on the list. So so that's like a fake ad. It, it, it could be somebody. I mean, if you really wanted to look into this, DJ, time with it. But it could be somebody that just bought a website, put up a fake site, and they were trying to manipulate the price. The consumer right. perception. Because it's not even on the list. As a matter of fact, um what is on the list and i think it makes a lot of sense is uh, a company that would be tupperware adjacent but probably That's represents right. the new way people buy this product hefty number 45 on the consumer goods can, what can anybody anybody that is into storage of foods and stuff where do you buy your stuff where do you buy those containers Grocery store and dollar store. <laughs> the container oh, store. I just gave away the answer. What's that? The container store. Container I'm store. Right Is there a container right. store? They're there. They're called the container store. And they are <laughs> anybody that's into this. Uh, what is that? That Maria Conda condo? Marie Kondo? Kondo. The uh, the organization porn lady. What? Don't you remember this? Oh, she was no, all about organization, and she did a series on on uh, Netflix, and and she would say, okay, the first thing you do when you organize your house is you get all your stuff out and you put it in the living room. You hold up each item and ask yourself, does this item give me pleasure? Does this does this <laughs> does this speak to me? And if it does, you keep it. If it doesn't, you throw it away. And so a big movement came along for people to buy storage containers for their stuff. And uh, somebody help me out here. What's the name of that show? I mean, I'll tell you what, my brain isn't working. Martha Stewart? Marie Kondo. I'm going to look it up. Marie Kondo? I've never heard of her. I'm thinking of the food company, Marie Cullen, the one that makes me all the Marie Callender's. <laughs> I'm like, is he talking about Marie Callender? That's what I thought he was talking about at first. I feel like my brain isn't working today. Marie Kondo, right? Is somebody in the side chat? Can somebody? Marie Kondo, Japanese Marie. professional organizer and consultant. I don't remember. He has written four books on organizing and sold millions of copies throughout America. And the name of the show was The Con Marie Method. What was the name of the show? What was the name? YouTube probably has it. 
Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. It's on Netflix. Ah. Oh, it's, it's a Netflix she's, She takes Japanese um, kind of, you know, just uh, the, the cultural, you know, if you go to a Japanese house, it's very neat. There's not a lot of the clutter. Right. She takes, and she introduces ways to, uh, gosh, uh, does anybody decorate in the site in the chat here? So she's got um, what does she put like partitions? I like in TJ. The house. I'm sticking with hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Who are you? Oh my gosh! I hope that. So yeah, it's going to change your world, Don, because I know that you'd be so pulled into this. Um, little things like how to fold up a T-shirt so it's a, and and put it in a drawer. Um, things yeah, like okay. um, pouring your cereal into a storage container instead of keeping it in the Leaving box. It in the box? Up the I'm so into stuff like that. Right. So you got to look this up because this is right up your alley. It's it's and we used to call it storage porn, but it was basically. Yeah. But anyway, like my that. point is, I don't open a container of mung bean sprouts, and the first thing I do is take them and put them in the Tupperware. There you go. There you go. And <laughs> then that's that. called, you got to look this up, Marie Kondo, because she's she's all about that. And the reason why I'm saying this is because Tupperware used to get delivered to homes because why? The, the Tupperware Tupperware lady. parties. We know this. Yeah. We know the song. Yeah. Um, but now people buy it at the container store. Dude, container Tupperware store. was like Avon when I was growing up. Yeah, yeah. It was like Tupperware parties were like a thing. Right. And you know what? We used to, I mean, this is. Mom used to. For crab We used to have a living room, right? Yeah. And a living room was actually, a, it was a separate from the rest of the house. The kitchen usually had a closed door, right? So that nobody could see your messy kitchen. But you had a place where you could receive company and entertain them. Um, at any given part of the day. And sometimes in some of these houses, you had a bar right in front of the house as well, God forbid. But that's how we used to operate. So Tupperware ladies were a little bit more welcome into the home and, and mm -hmm. people would throw those parties. We're much more insular now. And, and I don't think the model works as well. But people no. go to the to the container store and it's more than just Tupperware. It's anything organizational. Wow. Yeah. I Do you have a that. store like that nearby you? Container store? Um, no, no. Check it out. Um, not unless there's one in the outlets that's not far from us. There may be one there, but yeah, I will look at that. I will, I will look that up. I started to say I will look at that up. And, I will look and, that up. And where are you? You're Ocean City, right? Yep. I just doxed you. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Don. <laughs> Did you just look me up? No, I, I'm saying I just, where do you live? And <laughs> sorry. Stop. That's I don't think awesome. anybody's coming here. They, it's it's a small place, but it's a big place. I'd be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. There you go. There you and go. I never go out. So I get up uh, there to see my grandbaby. I'll have to stop up there and see you. Yeah, do that. Nate said he was going to spin through too. Yeah, I got a up there in Berlin. One lives in Berlin. Yeah. I got two of them that live in Ocean City. North Pines. Yeah, yeah. we lived at, we lived in Berlin when we first got here. We rented out one of uh, Jen's house, uncle's houses that he used to own. Then we lived in Ocean Pines. We lived in North OC in the Key. We lived in the Key condominium building. Um, yeah, and now we're okay. So there's one in Annapolis and one in Rocks Rockers Rock Rockville and okay. Gaither, Gaithersburg. Gaithersburg. E County. in maryland cool beans and i'm gonna i'm gonna by the way cx ai um kind of moved up in the after hours keep an eye on it it's yeah it's all that today i was watching that for a little bit today it's uh somebody called that out i think it might have been who called that out me somebody called it out. i think it was Sheila. Uh, not your Sheila. <laughs> Today. Oh, yeah. Sheila. It really um, took me after her. 
And oh, SMCI yeah. is up 0.89% in the aftermarket. You know what we needed today? Today, at least, that's made the XAI. That, that there could be some positive movement. Oh my God. Was that a wild ride? Yeah. Yeah. The fight guy? Whew. I'm still dizzy. You know what was so great is that's the first really successful round trip that I've ever done. Really? Yeah. Up and I'll down? A put, put in a call. I mean, and a, in a, and a, big bet this right here i wish i had gotten in on this move right here which move i'm sorry i'm not in i i'm a, this move right i didn't straddle no oh, okay. i waited for confirmation yeah that's exactly what I, it went down and went back up yeah this yeah, is like a other way. A building. It, was so, it was so great because one, uh, once Jerome Powell started talking, he didn't have to say a word. Wait just a minute, Ted. I've got to appeal to your yeah. appeal to your artistic side. Do you not see the Empire State Building in this? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I do. But I tell you what, the other day I saw the Sears Tower, and it was the, it, it had wicks <laughs> up to the top, just like the Sears Tower, like we used to watch in uh, in what was it, uh, Microsoft's? Yeah, uh, we remember that airplane for what was it called? Flight Simulator? Yeah, Flight Simulator. Yep, we used to. Fly our, we used to fly our plane into uh, Sears Trade Center. It's like uh, neon lights around it. That's awesome. I don't ever want to see that ride again. I like surfing the EWO, but that was that was yeah, hard. The, well, you can't play it because don't, you don't know when it's going to do that. Well, the runs aren't long enough. It's like as soon as you get in it, you got to get out of it. It's like quick scalping. Mm hmm. Not a bad but somebody like Nate and Mark and Coach will eat that uh, for breakfast. Yeah, they probably made tens of thousands of dollars if they did it. Well, you know, Nate made 31K today. Yeah, I heard. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, that's, so that, that was the first time that I played two contracts. I'm sorry, 10 contracts. Really? Oh, oh. oh. you did 10. Yeah, Good that, that was you. about twenty thousand dollars worth of twenty five thousand dollars worth. Of that's sure different than my ten. Oh my god! That was definitely uh, that had to be a handshake. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Did Heart you do it? Right. I know Nate is able to do that so much more calm, <laughs> but boy. Well, you know, and it's Nate where I need to be. I need to step morning. up, right? That, I, that's what Nate was talking about this morning. He's trying to step up to the next level. That right after where you're trying to get he's trying to get to that jimmy and brady level right right and you're trying to get to his level yeah you know and mark's uh, trying to get to nate to nate's level mark's almost there but not quite he's still a little nervous about it but he's getting there he's getting there yeah i uh i look forward to the next i i think in a way this whole market has gotten me so much more focused yeah where me too. Ted, before it kind of felt like a grab bag, right? Oh, look at this, mm -hmm. look at this, look at this. And now I'm just kind of zeroing in on those that I think they're gonna have the biggest impact. Uh, spy and apple. <laughs> I'm I've gravitated towards the two that resonate with me the most. The, the two that I've been successful with repeat repeat repeatedly. So and so I'm like, let's narrow it down. It's those two. Yeah, and so who's my second favorite guy that I like to quote or refer to? Uh, uh, what's his name? That Warren Buffett's partner, Charlie yeah. Munger. Charlie Munger. Um, and and what he used to say, God bless his soul, is diversification could be a myth. That if you know a company really well, I mean, are are you are you hearing the parallels with what David does? If you know a company really well, then why why deviate and try to find something new if if it's sound in its fundamentals there's a reason for that there's value in that and so right. this wise old man who died what almost 100 years old yeah. um 
that wisdom carries on through the ages to anybody that wants to listen to it and and i think it's 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 very it's very thought provoking i'm not saying that i'm all in on it right i, I do think that there does need to be some distribution across sectors mm -hmm. for what we do it might it just might be spot on mm -hmm. and i'd be surprised if vinny if uh vinny if uh jimmy is is trading more than one or two stocks i think he, yeah he's in on that boring trade but he knows it so well so and here's he what knows. you do you get one one good company in each sector or in right. one, one of a couple and, of sectors and if you know the intrinsic value right what we talk about the intrinsic value and you know that that company for whatever reason has been kind of hammered down mm -hmm. and this is how this is why i felt really confident about nvidia i did it in such a way that worst case scenario oh well i'm owning nvidia into earnings and i was comfortable with that right because I, I really do feel that nvidia's nvidia is on sale mm -hmm. and so you know why would i want to go and find out any other company that may or may not be on sale because i don't know that company that well right and so, where's it trading at now I um, looked at it. 870 maybe what was it didn't it get over a thousand at one point yeah one point that's what i'm saying we know yeah, yeah. And, and and so there's a lot of there's a lot of kerfuffle right Good that word. nvidia is going to have competition right and this this is kind of reminds me and coach is so wise right he's just got the great wisdom and and the great thing about being a member of ADT, full for full commercial, <laughs> but a great part about ADT is is tuning in every day and hearing his wisdom. And one of the things that he used to say about Apple, he goes, "Mark my words, before Apple's earnings, there's always going to be press releases and things to try to knock the, you know, the king down, right? Apple being the king." Um, you, you name it it's problems in china it's this and that it's it's always there to try to to derail interest and and it could be people that just want a better price you know to get in at a better price or it could be you know uh, companies that are out there that are hedge funds. hedge funds that are that are really betting on on um an unhappy outcome for apple whatever the reason he says that it's it's almost like it's almost like it's almost like uh clockwork in a way it's it's almost like with i i i'm a recovering catholic it's like every year just before easter there's a story about priests and bad things and, and we're like can you just wait right. after easter why do you right. have to like make it relevant for a holiday right. that should be above all that but whatever um right. It's just the timing of bad news. And, and that's what I think, you know, um, I read an article that said that that we are in a journalistic crisis. There's no more journalism like we used to have. Right. We used to pay people to go out and get this information. So in a way, we have to be our own editors. We have to be our own filters because those editors don't exist for us anymore. And so we'll get news items like Tupperware or other items that we think is legitimate and we make decisions based on that because we don't have somebody that's trustworthy enough that will give us the, the details or, or we feel filter like we're, it out. So in a way we have to start looking at these headlines before earnings with, with kind of what they used to say for Watergate. Remember the advice for Watergate on finding out who deep throat was follow the money. And in a way, what we have to do is follow the money. If there's an article that's coming out that's saying something that is outlandish or something that that just doesn't smack of believability, we should be smart enough to kind of dig in and, and try to determine why am I seeing this article at this point in time? We mm -hmm. need this. Kids need to do this. This is, th I mean, this is how we survive in the age of AI where deep fakes and deep, you know, things that we think are yeah. true aren't true. Um, so it's the same thing with trading and going into NVIDIA's earnings. There's been a whole bunch of articles. They were saying, oh, Google's going to build their own chips. Well, good luck with that, because all those articles say is Google's going to build some chips that are that are going to make it to the what NVIDIA calls the H100 level. 
but that's like two generations ago for NVIDIA. NVIDIA is already kind of leapfrogging that and they're leapfrogging it with technology that's much more energy efficient that even if Google would have come up and, and catch up to where, you know, and by the way, think of all the man hours that goes into, into what uh, NVIDIA has developed. Even if Google was able to do that in-house and build that, um, they probably have not solved the energy requirements like NVIDIA has. So, so it, it will almost be a, a joke at Google because they're going to have to they're going to have to buy the Blackwell architecture because it's much more energy efficient. And, and, and these are the things that don't make it to the news items. But if you know a little bit about the company and you invest in your time and really understand what's going on with the technology, you can kind of peel past the white noise and, mm -hmm. and recognize what the intrinsic value is of that company that you're, that you're looking to make an investment in. And if you know that information before anyone else does, you have an You're golden. Ad. You're golden. And so that that that's that's my my new mantra is I'm just going to zero in on those companies that I know and love and ride them through the good times and the bad times. That's it. That's a good strategy. You know, okay. you can't go wrong with it. It served David well for over a year. He just chose to do it with one company. Imagine if you had ten companies that you did that exact same thing with. The, so exactly. yeah i get well, it and, and you don't the, the great thing is using coach's strategy you don't you don't necessarily need to right as you get better and better and you get strong in your mechanics and you understand the rules that coach is teaching you get to the point where you become much more confident in a single trade with with much more invested because you you know that your probability of success is much higher because you can trust the the teachings that coach teaches. Yeah. And the more that you trust, and like Mark Mark McSee is finding, and and obviously Nate has discovered success beyond anybody's imagination. It's all about the same mechanics. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you're trading, if you're trading, you know, one share, ten shares, a thousand shares. Those by and large, you know, depending on the volume, but those trades are all the same. Yeah. It's it's just what's in our head. The psychology it's the same process over and over again. And and we're Don, you and I were talking about this in, in the uh in the moderators meeting. Um ADT has a whole bunch of monitors moderators. And so we were in a meeting and we definitely are going to have a chapter coming up on psychology psychology of trading and i think that that's a, a great thing to um to get behind but the more that we talked about it the more that we realized that if if you really want to get the good psychology get to know coaches rules and this is probably a good segue for you <laughs> uh, but get to know coaches rule to the point that it you don't even have to think about it that yeah that, know what what is within the boundaries and you know when you're playing with the electric third rail and if you right. can get to that point that you automatically train yourself zap every time you do a stupid move zap 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 sooner or later you channel yourself into the highest probability of success it doesn't guarantee success right failure is always an option um but the thing is what coach advises is protect your assets if you fail fail small if you win, win big. And, uh -huh. and that's what I really love about what coach has been teaching. And, and I become kind of a, a true believer myself because I've seen it impact my life. So yeah, with, with that, maybe it's a good time to talk about coaches rules. Sorry. I, I guess I'm, I'm a little bit ant today. I had a good day. <laughs> it's all good. And here we go. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. More? Hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Never lose more than one to three percent ever of your total account value in any given day. Always make sure you have stop losses on each and every single trade, whether it's shares or options. Make sure you guys are practicing base hits. Don't be trying to go for those home runs. Everybody be cool with that. Every once in a while you get the home runs, but that 
Comes back to our other rule. Let the runners run and stop out the losers. All right. So if we're getting hammered on something and it's going against you, just get out of there. If you're new to trading, do not trade in the first 30 minutes of the day or the last hour ever. And if you are new to trading, do not use real money. You should be using simulated trainers and you can use them on all sorts of different accounts. TD has them, uh, TradingView, you can do rewinds. There's all sorts of stuff. Don't come in with real money blowing up your account. That is not how you wanna learn. I wanna make you a stock market trader and not just another call out chaser. I'm telling you, is that not the Max Headroom look or what? That's great. And, and, and I, it's so funny. I said the same thing, but I didn't put it quite as eloquently as coach, but I like that stomp out the losers. Yeah. Without a doubt. So how was your day? To mine? Yeah. I did. Okay. I made uh $75 on Apple today. Okay. Yeah. And, and I did not get chopped up in spy. <laughs> Yeah. Did spy do some weird things? It did, you know. Um, normally, t spy spanks me. Well, you know what? Actually, I lost a couple dollars on spy. I think like twenty bucks, but I didn't stay in it long enough for it to like really get right. in. You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. Stand by so the I'm, like, oh. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. nope, nope, nope. Um, I was up, so I wasn't paying attention to it. I just let it run. I wasn't going to check my P&L. And then when it started doing that weird stuff where it started climbing up, you know, when it went down for a long time with Apple in conjunction, and then SPY started going up when Apple was continuing to go down, I'm like, oh, I better check my trade. And I was down like 25 bucks or something like that. So I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and cut SPY because I don't know what it's going to do from here. It could do the knife drop thing today and run, but I'm not taking that chance right now because right now, I'm negative, so I'm out. So I'm getting better at that. So that's 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 my that's my thorn in my side that I have to get out. So um, yeah, that's my thing. So I'm well, happy. you're really good about you know doing the journal and 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 kind of tracking that, and that's the best part. I yeah. think, of coach's advice. How about you, yeah. DJ? How did it go? Yeah. My is another day. Okay, you already got. You already talked about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's had nine good days straight, so he was he was due. You're gonna yeah. have a losing day sometimes. You know what I mean? It was a small position. Like Cody says, position size is everything. We want to be able to control it. Actually, so. I hate saying that. Nobody's ever due to lose if you can help it. But the fact that you went nine days green and you know a bad day crept in there, it happens to the best of them. That's hey, that's if you're doing ninety percent. Especially in these last couple of weeks, if you're doing ninety yeah. percent, that's uh, you that's know even the even the best would say you know sixty to seventy percent. Um, again, stomping out the losers before they they uh, <laughs> before you need a tourniquet, right? Um, right? Stomp out those losers. But if if you can do sixty to seventy percent, you're you're in the top you know five percent of of all traders. Even yeah. uh, you know some of these other guys I've seen, that they come across your screen. Uh, you know they don't claim to be a hundred percent, and and I would not trust anybody that 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 says that they have that infallible kind of formula or secret idea on how to make it happen because it just isn't true. You just never know what that next candle's gonna do. Yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to get off of here, guys. I'm going to go um, finish up the video I was at. Well, Pebbles just joined. I know. Well, Pebbles was already on here a little while ago. Pebbles, well, what's, up, okay. honey? what's up, man? I thought Pebbles was a girl, too. I have to admit. But it's a gentleman. <laughs> Pebbles, you back? What's happening? You're so you're so gender normative, Don. <laughs> what's that mean? <laughs> that means that you kind of fall into the old-fashioned boy versus girl world. I know, and I don't like labels. How about know, that? Right? Yeah, that's not you. Yeah. Um, 
I, I'm gonna I'm gonna exit real quick and change my name to Bam Bam just to make it. I just I just have one thing to say. What is that, Pebbles? Um, in the morning, um, when the on the hot stock fix, I I have think or swim. Okay. Yeah, I have think or swim, and I was hot stock picks. If those are <laughs> if there's a delay. <laughs> I tried to hold it. All I could think was, "What is Ted thinking? What is DJ thinking?" Like we're ho we're hanging on your every word here, Pebbles. So you're thinking in the hot stock picks. Wh what's happening? Well, by the way, I like a hat. It's a foreign stock. Cool. If if it is a foreign stock. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I buy it with Think or Swim. I'm charged fifty dollars real. What was that? About fifty dollars? So we don't we don't have foreign stocks as part of the hot stock picks of the day. Yes, yeah. there are. Yeah, some of those stocks are from Israel, and and on. Are you talking about the one that they it had on the H U S oh, yeah. in the Discord? I got a whole I got a whole list of them that have been called out before. Then then we need to change that because I don't I I wouldn't advise trading foreign stocks. Well let's take a, we'll take a look at that, Pebbles, because that's worth looking into. Yeah. A lot of them are usually something that we get right off of Weeble, too. So if you look, like, a lot of them tend to match up like, with the top uh, gainers of Weeble. Foo Foo, F U, F U. Uh huh. If I were to play that one, I would be charged $50 commission going in and coming out. Yeah, that's a platform issue. That's that's crazy. Yeah. I've heard some horror stories with Think or Swim charges. You know what? Check with your platform because maybe they're charging you for uh, penny stocks. Yeah. Because Isn't that I'm who, looking uh, this up Ariel right now. Just with, to... and they ended up charging him like nine grand or something like that. No, that oh, was right. that look, was... Fufu, Fufu. Founded and is headquartered in Singapore. Yep. Yep. Wow. John, we should take a look at that. I don't know if we want to be doing that. Or at yeah, least I we should, bring it we up should have some sort of disclaimer with every posting. Pebbles, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, just kind of watch it. You know, no, that's, that's wonderful feedback. And, and this is the great thing about our community. We got a whole bunch of smart people and and you know we don't you betcha. we don't get any value unless people speak up right that's it so, so it's just like today we've got four people that are brave enough to because look my face it's for radio yeah. um but but if you're brave enough to at least not come here on camera and chat um you're you're doing no please know that there are probably 10 people behind you that are afraid to ask the question or aren't even aware that there could be an issue. So thank you for speaking up. That's the only way we find out. That's, That's the way it. we find out. So we'll get this, I'll, I'll put this in the uh, moderator lounge, Don, and, and okay. we should, we should work up, uh, cause that's, that's not, that's not our intent. We certainly don't want to put people in a position where they're being charged $50. Yeah. Great. But but to Don's point, that's also something that you might be able to negotiate with your with, with your platform. Your, um, platform. So worth worth considering, or at least putting a note in. And if if you do get an answer from Thinkorswim, uh, please feel free to to let us know. 
can't stay with that information. Without a doubt, without a doubt. All well, right, thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming yeah. back in with that. Don? Yes. Thanks for stopping through. <laughs> a long day, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get on the base for a little while. I've been on my base this week. Yeah. I, I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna get a haircut. I much needed haircut. I haven't had Don't a shave though. The, the beard looks good. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you should leave it. It looks good. Jen said it. Everybody's saying it. Don't Everybody. go shaving. <laughs> you right. yeah, should leave that. That looks good. All right, guys. All right, have everybody have a everyone. wonderful night. Peace and blessings. And again, thank you, Pebbles. Not everybody. Yep. Oh, coach's rules. Okay. <laughs>at 4 30 eastern this is how to grow your small account part two you do not have to watch the first one to have the second one but i highly recommend it because it is the basis and the foundation leading into part two which was how to grow your small account it was 199 dollars if you were able to buy that before the class it's almost two hours um, but it is a full 90 minute class with q a you guys will be able to rewatch that as much as you want if you did buy the first one, there is a discount code um, that you guys can use. I can't just blurt it out because it's uh, only if you bought the first one. So head over to our Discord, look at the channel that is for the um, replay of that video, and you guys will see the actual discount code that is listed inside of there. You can find it in our store if you go to AmericanDreamTrading.com. Waffle, I was just about to shut things down. How you doing? Uh, I saw you uh, popping backstage. Hey, sister. I'm sorry. I'm no, a late comer. No, I was working at the hospital, so now I'm here, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. If you want to yeah. shut her down, shut her down. I just want to say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and normally I would just fall on, but you know you're my honey, so I'm like, hey, I got to say hi. You took the time to pop in, so yeah, man. We just, we were on here for couple hours ted and uh dj vinnie and pebbles and i were up here for a while and yeah I, I, I they just left the whole, i listened to the whole thing man okay yeah well, yeah yeah i'm i'm here from 4 a.m and i like literally i, I know i have four earpieces that i <laughs> continuously <laughs> rotate and recharge at work to stay in tune with what's going on here at yeah EG. And <laughs> <laughs> love you, Jay Waffle. I love you more. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good night, sweetheart. Okay. You too, my dear. I love you. Love you, I love baby. Every, I love you all. Thank you. Oh, have a good one. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Yep. We'll do it all over again. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where am I at here? Hit the cancel button. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. To sign up for any of the services, of course, website is always here. $200 for our regular membership gets you immediately into Zoom. You can see every trade I make. You'll get hot stock picks, the videos on demand, the IPO center, and the pre-market setup, all with the regular $200 membership. When you're ready to step it up though, I highly recommend the VIP membership. You'll be able to start trading early at 4 a.m. You'll get to trade with some of our other millionaires inside of that room. You guys will get a masterclass training with me every day at 8.15. You'll get the VIP lounge, all of those hot stock picks, uh, pre-market setup. You're gonna get the IPO center, the videos on demand, all of the workshop classes for free. And we put one of those on every single month. You'll get uh, all the VIP training videos the trading view indicator these were designed specifically based on my two minute ewo which by the way no trader in the world has ever used what we are doing with the elliott wave oscillator and we have a lot of people finding success obviously with this you'll also get vip seating at the meetups if you are a vip member and you want more training vip gold you can add that on for an additional twenty five hundred dollars a year 
right now as one of the specials that i have this could go away but right now if you sign up for the vip gold you will also get a free one-on-one -on -one with a moderator that is a 500 dollars value just for that you'll get all the mastermind classes you get every mastermind class for free during your subscription You'll get one hour of tech support if you need it, so we can remote in, we can help you set up those charts. Anything specific, right, that will get you going, we can help you with that. You're also gonna get, for the first time ever, weekend training. We've been doing it every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, and because it's the weekend, it is literally like a one-on-one. -on -one. You'll also get our new service, showing us everything, right, that's going on in the market and breakout rooms. So anytime we do a breakout room, that's only for VIP gold members. You guys will be able to access that. Use your affiliate account. You guys will also get a piece of everything. So you have family members, neighbors, people in your church, people that you guys want to help out. You can give them your link and that will uh, also give you a kickback immediately. It's immediate. As soon as they pay for it, you guys will get money. You'll see it into your uh, monies that you can just withdraw. Send them to AmericanDreamTrading.com.